Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pashvika, the channel where we talk about the female stuff, the feminine energy, the menstrual cycle and all that. In today's video, we will going to talk about how I actually increase my feminine energy and what I did differently and uh, maybe it can help you, maybe you can relate to it. Now I'll be sharing my own real life experience with you guys because there are so many different strategies, tips and tricks that you can find in the online space to increase your feminine energy. Without further ado, let's get straight with that. Before we go, pa, consider clicking the like button guys and to really appreciate that. If you want more such video, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon. Whenever we will going to upload new videos, you're gonna get notified about it. Now there are so many tips and tricks to increase your feminine energy depending on what kind of female you are because if you're aware of there are so many different types of i think there are over eight different types of female archetypes and depending on you how, what type of female you are it may vary from female to female i'm going to be sharing some tips with you guys that really help me increase my own feminine energy i was having a pretty worse breakup back in 2016 2017 when i was dating a guy when i was in the college i was dating that guy and that would ended that relationship ended very badly and it was a worse breakup i was in the chasing game chasing my ex to rekindle that relationship and i was having my feminine energy at a very low level because i was in the chasing game and when you are in a chasing game it's more of masculine energy rather than the feminine energy so i started working myself back in the 2018 2019 and 2020 started gaining more uh, of my feminine energy rather than being more in the masculine energy allowing and receiving the things rather than actually chasing the things of course we need to work towards the things but we also need to receive and allow the things to happen in our life rather than actually just chasing it so i started incorporating the new habits started reading the books the audiobooks the podcasts watching the videos talking to other female who are having high feminine energy and trying to incorporate all those habits so it took me a time because i was in a worse breakup in the 2017 2016 so it really took me a time to get out of that breakup hangover so 2018 2019 i was started working i was improving a lot in 2020 finally i attracted the man who i want to date who is my dream guy i attracted that guy in my life and currently we are having a good relationship okay so this is with just a backstory of what happened with my own feminine energy it was a kind of like related to the love relationship but i think that feminine energy is related to every aspect of being a female not just in the love relationship but now i'm going to be sharing some tips with you guys that will going to help you the first tip that i have for you be with nature like i can tell you very well that nature is kind of like a female body or a feminine power nature allows the things receives the things is so silent so calm so loving so at peace so try to spend as much as your time in nature i mean even when we are talking about the four different phases of the cycle like when you are in the late luteal phase or the menstrual phase you are your energy level is low because of the hormones so you can spend more time in the nature to regenerate yourself to get back on track and to feel more good about yourself and about your life so nature is your power source okay and spending more time with the nature learning from the nature and observing what's happening in the nature we're really going to help you increase your feminine energy I tell you from almost one and a half to two years, I've been spending a lot of the time on a daily basis with the nature. Sometimes I spend in the park, sometimes I spend in the beach, sometimes I spend the time in the trees and or garden and all that. It really helps me to heal, to recharge my batteries and to be more in the feminine energy to understand and observe what it is in nature. The second tip that I have for you is to allow receive rather than ch in the chasing game now i want to tell you i was in the chasing game for a very very long time it's not just about chasing, chasing a boyfriend or a partner even if you're chasing for a job chasing for a career chasing for your social life your personal life whatever it is if you are ch in the chasing game then your feminine energy is very low because feminine energy is more focusing on allowing and receiving rather than in the chasing game the chasing game the hunter's game is kind of like more in the masculine energy the man loves being chased like they love to chase their women, their love of their life. They want to chase it because they are in their hunter game. But we being as a female, we need to be in a receiving and allowing 
process rather than the chasing game. That is allowing and receiving is more powerful than being in the chasing game because allowing and receiving is actually helping you to have fight and being grateful for whatever is happening in your life and also being grateful and having faith for the things that will going to happen in your future, whether it's related to your love relationship, whether it's related to your career, your job, your business, your personal life, social life, whatever it is. It's actually having gratitude and actually having faith in the unknown that things will going to come into a puzzle, like all the pieces will going to come into puzzle and you are in the process to receive and allow it. So the third tip that I have for you, now I already talked about the receiving and allowing, now I'm going to talk about to take action, yes. Feminine energy is not always waiting, relaxing or uh, receiving and allowing. It has a balance of power. Like sometimes it does relax. Sometimes it does receive and allow. Sometimes it takes an action. So there is a balance of the powers. Without their action, nothing will going to happen. You have to take an hell bent desire action towards your goal. Once you have finished your action steps, then you need to sit back, relax and wait and receive and allow the things that are going to happen in your life. But you have to take an action steps. Whether it's related to your business, whether it's related to career, your relationship, like if you're not going out and dating new guys or dating other people or talking with the people, or getting more socializing, how come you're gonna meet the love of your life? This is just a love relationship. If you're not starting with your business, how are you gonna grow your business? If you're not actually making a plan for traveling or for family, whatever it is, then how the things will going to happen. So taking an action step is very, very important. It's just that you need to know the balance of the power when you have to take the action and when you have to actually sit back, relax and receive, you have to know where to take the action. Now I can tell you one example how you can do that. For example, if you want to get started with a YouTube channel and you want to become a YouTuber, okay, that's your goal. Okay, that's just an example. So for becoming a YouTuber, you need to start with a YouTube channel or your first YouTube video, edit it and upload it on YouTube. Then only it will going to start working for you. If you're not even uploading a single video, how come you're going to become a YouTuber or how come you're going to make from your YouTube channel? So this is the action step that you need to take. And then when you have taken that action step, then you can sit back, wait and relax and allow the YouTube to actually, uh, actually target your videos to the right kind of audience so that you can attract more followers, subscribers, uh, views, engagement and all that thing which you want. So that is just an example which you can relate to every other thing that you are doing in your life. The tip that I have for you which I started doing recently is to celebrate, enjoy every moment of your life. How come you're gonna do that? Like for example, if you wanna wear a sexy cloth and you wanna hang out some sexy clothes and makeup and hair and all, why not do it? I mean, I have seen a lot many people simply procrastinating. Like they wanna wear a short mini skirt and go out and actually they're sitting back and relax and they are procrastinating saying, oh, I need to buy that skirt. Oh, I need to buy that heel. Oh, I need to buy that makeup product. I don't know how to apply the makeup. I don't know how to walk in the heels. I mean, there could be so many reasons that you can give yourself to not go for the things which you want to go. So I'm going to tell you, leave all these excuses behind and actually pursue it. Okay. Focus on your daily day to day enjoyment. What makes you happy? If you want to buy a dress that makes you happy, then probably go buy, purchase it. Don't just procrastinate, sit in your chair or your couch and actually procrastinating with the other people. Don't do that. Okay actually go and enjoy the every moment of the life that you have because our life is precious and when you start enjoying your life when you start actually breathing for yourself start taking a second for yourself the moment you're gonna attract more good things in your life because the like things attract the like if you know about the newton's third law Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So that is the same thing. If you are enjoying your life, if you are doing the things that makes you happy and actually wearing them, buying them or having them, if that makes you happy, then 
you're naturally going to attract more good things in your life and that will going to increase your feminine energy because feminine energy is receiving allowing and also being enjoying every second or moment of their life Last tip uh, that i have for you is to spend more time with the women that have their feminine energy more like you can see there are the various different kinds of the women or females in this world some are having more in a masculine energy and some are more in the feminine energy so if you want to increase your feminine energy try to spend your time with the more females with the more women who are having their feminine energy at peak because if you are spending a lot of the time with them you they're going to radiate their feminine energy to you and you're going to receive it and you're going to able to learn adapt and actually share a lot of the things with the other female as well who are also having the high feminine energy so you need to surround yourself with the people with the like minded people who will going to help you increase your feminine energy maybe you would be thinking hey i don't have that kind of female in my surrounding in my neighborhood is having a more of a feminine energy maybe you can go out and make some new friends why not maybe go on a social media look for the different pages on the pinterest or different social media profiles or meetup groups or community whatever it is where you see that a lot of the females are hanging out they are having in a high vibe of their feminine energy try to actually locate yourself there okay try to join that community that meetup groups and talk to them maybe online if you do as much as you can listen to all the podcasts videos listen to actually the songs the things that actually help you increase your feminine energy i can tell you the balance of power is everywhere okay you need to know where to take an action and where to receive and allow and it, this thing comes with a practice okay all the things comes with a practice nothing comes without the practice you have to practice on a daily basis to get the results which you want my some tips which help me to increase my own feminine energy now there are so many different tips and strategies in which you can increase the feminine energy just the more you are in your feminine energy the more and the better the things will going to happen for you and you're going to attract the right kind of man or right kind of relationship or a kind of career business job family whatever you want to attract in your life hopefully you find this video useful let me know what you think in the comment section below What are your own tips to increase your feminine energy? I would really love to hear from you in the comment section below. Till then, take care. I'll see you in the next week's video. Bye, guys.